transport route optimization. Um, we look into the introduction, reason of optimization, um, key points needed to be attended to, optimization method, testing and new route training, and possible systems that can be applied. On the introduction, we could see that due to the rising cost of fuel, companies uh, try to manage their logistics and distribution in a more efficient way so that transportation routes and schedules can be well developed and improved continuously. Route planning has to be able to quickly respond to any events to ensure the lowest cost of transportation. In the supply chain management, transport chain management is the most costly part, especially in small firms, small logistics firms. In situations probably where they don't need to spend more on warehousing. Transport optimization, its focus is on providing or finding an ideal road for business. Reasons for optimization is to increase the efficiency of transportation, to reduce delays, and to save money by reducing the cost of the fuel and the salary of the staffs. The fourth thing is to reduce the risk and have an easy control and as, and as well to manage the complex route. Hey, what's up? Andrews here. So now we have some key points that we need to consider <laughs> when planning the route or, and optimizing the route. So um, we should always consider time limits. Um, for example, sometimes there are routes that are limited for passing. Uh, we should also consider the maximum carrying ability of the trucks. And uh, we always should try to deliver all the goods at once so we can save up and reduce costs. Uh, always pay attention to road tolls and custom houses. Road toll is a key element for costing and custom house need to take more attention. Natural factors. Uh, of course, try to avoid the routes which has high risks of natural disasters. Uh, as for traffic jams and accidents, well, routes should always avoid um, the traffic jams uh, and uh, we should always uh, avoid places that can lead to accidents, dangerous places. As for customer demand, there are sometimes uh, customer demands that can lead for some problems in optimizing. And uh, the route in the map when you optimize the route should be as of a circle and we should try to avoid intersections. Okay, let's now go to the next page. For example, if we have several places we need to visit during our route, it's not recommended to plan the route like this way. Uh, in the middle you can see there are intersections. This will lead to uh, more mileages and uh, consequently more costs from fuel and it's better to plan the route like this way when you make your route as kind of a circle this decreases uh, uh, distances and segment uh, and consequently the time uh, and the fuel consumption okay now it's turn to me I'm Sid Huqin Okay, as far as my the teammates, and I'd like to talk about the planetization method. And uh, there are so many methods to like uh, optimize the routes, and uh, they can give it a better plan. But uh, here we can just talking about the two very simple method to op optimization the routes, and the. The first one is for the single place departure. The first thing we should do is like try to choose the straight line route or the shortest one. And then connect every near site 
and try to make a circle. After that, you should you should think about your carry ability and try to deliver at one time. But for some case, that maybe some company have the time required, so maybe you need to use some small track to deliver one more time. So that's how to say it's an additional situation that you need to carry about. And one thing here you should notice about. Don't use the road which is high risk of the traffic jam or accident. It is best to change your new way. If the road you choose is the shortest one, but there are so many problems on this road, for example, it's easy to have uh, traffic accidents or traffic jam, I think you should let don't use that. Because this kind of accident and the kind of things that you can't imagine, so that you can't control it. And the second notice is that you need to play a road toll. If you need to play a road toll, so calculate the cost and then decide it. If any changes are needed. Also, that's, uh, some, some, in some roads you need to have payment, but some roads is, is a short way. So you need to calculate about the oil con confusion and the oil cost and uh, also think about uh, the road toll payment. And then calculate and find a way, find which way is most how to say most cheap way. And also additional plans always should be done for some situation. If if your track is done and you should have a, like a new track to replace it, or some accident happened during the transporting, you should have an additional plan to face this challenge. Okay, for the single departure method, the map is right here. So we can see here like the, the departure is from D, and then let go like, let let go like a circle from here. You can see that the old slide with will connect it with the shortest line. And uh, for some situation, if 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 some happen something happened or some road is like high risk of high risk of the accident so you should maybe change your new way so like the blue lines you should avoid this kind of load okay so play okay the second method I put here is for mountain pie departures it's kind of be like how to say complex when you face some you need to like deliver goods from here here and also you need to put carry goods come back so this situation is chaos so we need to uh, another way or another method to carry out about this is so the first thing you should ca calculate the distance okay the first thing like you should calculate the length like here from a from cap to a to a and from capital b to a and you should calculate the or distance from which side all the sides between the together and the, then you, you should make a shipping and ship out balance sheet like this it means that you need to ship out how, how many goods to a and to a and you should ship out how many goods to b also you should ship in how many goods in small a or you should ship in how many goods in small b and after you do all the things and you can draw a map about here and you can see this map that the circle the circle shape is means like shipping out and the square square shape is means shipping and you can write a map here and then write down the distance number and the shipping shipping amount so you can find a way to think about which way is more convenient and which way is and which ways don't need to change so much so you can see here like uh, we carry out we carry out all the figure from here and also the notice is the same about the, the single departures don't use the road which is high risk or traffic jam or accident and then it's better change your way and if the road you choose need to road to calculate the costing and then decide if we need to change 
and the additional play always should be done. Okay, after you made your new load plan, you should have to test it. And the load plan needs to test it, and you can try the load one time and make a map shift from this plan. So you can see here, like the item we have tracked, the lead item, distance, driver condition, like uh, numbers of trucks, oil cost, maintenance cost, delivery amount, customer amount, and total cost. And uh, you give the grade one to five. The grade five is means that is everything is good, and grade one is not very good. After that, you make can make the total map of about the new plan, and then you can decide if we choose to implement this new plan. And about the new road trailing, that you can just imp implement your new road new road at, at once. So you should try to put all your drivers, all your staff, and go uh, circling about uh, your new road and you, your new planning and let them to understand the road that they need to transport in. So, so it's very important that, that the driver should understand what's the situation on this road. So just, be pa ju just keep patient about that. and. The spend some time on new road training for your staff. So now let's talk about system or software for road optimization. Uh, the main purpose of road optimization software is to make routing and scheduling optimization easy for transport and field service managers. And now we can see that uh, uh, and now let's take a look at uh, or how to select a road optimization system. First of all, uh, you have to know your business needs. Uh, it means you need to examine your needs before shopping for vendors. Take time to understand the design approach of potential vendors. The degree to which a vendor's approach to solving your specific routing problem problems matches your needs plays a significant role in the level of success your experience. Some problems require a complex approach employing very complicated stacks of programming while others are better solved by simple rules based engineering. Uh, take time to understand the design approach of potential vendors. The degree to which a vendor's approach oh sorry examine the examine the vendor's or origins. Each industry industry vertical and area of focus brings with the different nuances to the road optimization challenge. Vendors usually focus on one or more of these verticals when they develop their solutions. The degree to which this focus is aligned with your business will contribute to your success. Look under the hood. Make a concern, concentrated effort to understand the method by which the math is actually done. Think long term. Consider your load and road optimization needs now as well as into the future. Determine how much execution help you will require. It's important to understand not only your planning requirements but how you will execute the plan once it has generated. Consider both inboard and outboard. And uh, Look for innovation and patience. Uh, I mean, it means that uh, look for best uh, companies in the market. And when all else fails, ask around. Get outside counsel and learn from others. Success and failures. Prax practical is a practical does. Uh, look for a vendor with a balance. On its development team, the best companies have great scientists and great lo logistics. Thank you for your attention.